Hey guys, how's it going? Toby here, and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. And today we have got an advanced step over tutorial for you guys. It's something I do in like literally every single one of my online matches, simply because it's so effective and you guys have asked for so long that I teach you guys this. And it's so simple and I want to make sure that you guys really understand how to do it. So I made a video. Now before we get started, if you're looking for a place to get some coins, check the link in the description for the fifashop.co.uk, a really awesome website. And if you use the code TOBY10, you get a discount of every single one of your orders. So on your screen is what we're going to be going through and we're going to start off with the controls. So it's really simple. All you do is combine the right step overs with the left step overs and then combine those two with a left stick direction. So I'm going to show you it with a hand cam as well. I hope it's really simple and understandable, but it's so simple. So you sort of wiggle the thumb stick in a half circle motion in the direction you're facing and then move the left stick in a 90 degree direction. So that's the most effective way to do it. You can kind of see it on the screen now. And all I'm doing is wiggling the stick in a half circle in the direction I'm facing and then moving the left stick to the left or the right or up or down depending on the direction that you're facing and that's really important it's all you have to do but now let's head into some offline practice matches and you can do so by simply pressing start and going to practice match when you're in the arena and it gives you a good chance to give it a try and practice a little bit now what you want to do is look for the space you saw there I went straight through the middle into the space and it gives you a really clean opportunity so it works best when your opponent is either behind you a little bit or in front of you a little bit and that's really good because that's pretty much all the time now this is online so there's only one place I can go that's to the left and I need to do it quickly step overs definitely the best way to do it so if you notice two players coming at me I can only go one way and I dart into the space I really hope that makes sense just look for that space I'm slowing it down here I've got space below me I go into the space past the defender then this defender is going to come towards me I move straight past him by going into the space that's behind him. So I hope by slowing it down, you can see how that amazing goal by the legend that is Beerhoff actually came to happen. So this is a really good way to do it. So there's only one way I can go. There's no one to cross to. I have to do something with Cavani. The stepovers will allow me to get past this final man and then shoot the ball into the back of the net. So really, really simple. And the way that I'm doing it now is moving in a half circle motion towards the goal and then left stick up because that's what you want to do in game it's not exactly the same as the arena but i'm now going to show you some examples they're just a bit sped up you kind of get the idea but it works so well when you need to get past that final man you can also sort of fake the advanced step as well make people think you're going to do it and then don't do it but then do it later on which is what you saw in that Vucinic clip now here i've got no support whatsoever nothing at all i can't cross it in diego costa has to get past him but if you see he was ahead of me and because of that I was able to dart in behind him so it works really really well and it just creates space whilst maintaining a good amount of speed and it allows you to get things off and create some place so in this example Royce is probably one of the best players to do this with as well by the way he was miles ahead of me and because of that I could just dart in behind him and he just had no idea because he thought I was going to cross it so he was preemptively going really far ahead and because of that you can just dart in behind them and even with slow players, you can actually do it. So Carol, he thought I was going to go straight away past him. I didn't. I cut back inside and it just, it catches your opponent off guard. I really hope that's explained things. It's so, so simple to do and it's a two-star skill. It's amazing. Every single player that is outfield can do this and it's amazing in combos. It works really well. If you'd like to see some more of these, leave suggestions down below. If you'd like to see some perhaps skill combos that you can do with the advanced step over, just let me know in the comment section below. Any tips, tutorials that you would like to see from myself, I'm more than happy to show you guys. This was a lot of fun to make. I really enjoyed it and I hope I've got across how to do the advanced step over and I really hope to see it in some of your guys' games. Send me some tweets, let me know how you're doing with it. But I'm giving it a five out of five. It's so, so effective, can be predicted, but I think it's absolutely fantastic. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, drop a like and subscribe for some more videos for myself. But take care, guys. Have an amazing day and goodbye.